Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question find mode in binary search tree. Okay, so first of all, this is a traversal tree problem. And uh, we know that we have three well-known traversals in order, pre-order, and post-order. So question is, which traversal do you use for this question? My answer is in order traversal. So the reason why in order traversal is good choice for this question is due to the properties of binary search tree and uh, the fact that in order traversal visit nodes in ascending order. This is the properties of binary search tree. Binary search tree is a, a binary tree where each node has value greater than all nodes in its left subtree and smaller than all nodes in its right tree. And in order traversal of binary search tree visits the nodes in the tree in ascending order. So from these properties, it follows that um, traversing binary search tree using in order will make the same value appear uh, consecutively, making it well suited for uh, finding the mode, most frequently uh, occurrence value. So this is uh, because the same values are consecutive and you can update the count as you traverse, make it, making it easy to identify the most frequent occurrence value. So that's why in order traversal aligned with the uh, characteristic of binary search tree and is suitable approach for efficient finding the mode. So now we decided to use in order. I think the next question is how do you keep modes? There is a possibility that we have multiple modes in binary search tree, so we use array as a return value. So modes initialize with empty array. And also we need to keep uh, the occurrence of each number. So we use a hash map for the data. And uh, so look at this code. So we don't know how many modes we have in binary search tree. So um, if number of current value, so node dot value is current value. So number of current value is greater than current max count. So in that case, um, we delete all previous modes and have only current value, um, because current value is a next max count, right? So we don't need a previous all numbers anymore. So just update a max count with occurrence of current value, and then um, delete previous number and uh, update modes uh, with only current value. And uh, if not the case, um, so Next case is occurrence of current number equal max count. So in that case, um, there is a possibility that we have a multiple um, answer, right? So that's why um, we just append current value to mode array so that we can return all numbers, right? So that is a key point. OK, um, before we move to coding section, uh, let me tell you this. So this isn't directly related to this problem, but uh, knowing how to write in-order, pre-order, and post-order traversals might be helpful for other problems as well. And uh, this is an in-order, and uh, this is a pre-order, and this is a post-order. So let's focus on result append, result append, and uh, result append. So for in-order, we do something between left and right. So for pre-order, we do something before left and right. And uh, for post-order, we do something after left and right. Very easy, right? So in this question, um, we use an uh, in-order traversal. So we use uh, this format. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, um, initialize modes uh, with empty list and uh, counts with uh, hash map and max count equals 0. And uh, call in order function and passing the root node and then return uh, modes. And let's create an in order function in order and uh, let's say node. So first of all, if not node, we just return. If not the case, and uh, first of all, we go left, right? So in order and node.left. So after that, so we do something be, uh, between like a left and right. So uh, we calculate the occurrence of the, of the current value. 
And uh, we want to access the variables outside of uh, in order function. So more precisely, and modes and uh, max count. So that's why non local um, max count and uh, modes so that we can access these variables from uh, inside of in order function. And then count occurrence. So counts and the key should be current value equal so plus one this time and uh, counts dot get and the key should be node of value so current value and the default value should be zero so if we don't have current number and uh, then so this is a, a key point i explained earlier and if counts and uh, node dot value so occurrence of current value is greater than current max count. In that case, um, so we should update max count equal and uh, occurrence of current value. So counts and node of value. And then in that case, uh, we don't we don't need uh, like all previous numbers, right? So that's why modes is updated with only current number. So node dot value and else if so occurrence of current number so node dot value equal max count so in that case uh, there is a possibility that we have multiple result right so in that case just uh, append current value to um, modes so append and node dot value. And then after that, so um, we have to go right side, so in order, and uh, node dot right. Yeah, actually that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is a number of nodes in the binary search tree. So this is uh, because uh, um, this algorithm like uh, uh, performed in order traversal of entire tree, uh, visiting. Um, each node once, so that's why. And the space complexity is also order of n. So in the worst case, um, binary search tree is a unbalanced tree, so we call it like a skewed. And in that case, um, so we in the end we should keep number of nodes in uh, binary search tree. So that's why in the worst case, order of n. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.